what's up? Today I want to share with you my foolproof mussels recipe. Very easy, takes no time at all. Literally, you're going to be done in less than 10 minutes from start to finish and the flavors are all grease. So, first things first, I got my pot on. I'm preheating that, get that nice and hot. And I'm using about four or five pounds of mussels. It may sound like a lot, but it really isn't because they're all shell basically. Now, when you're dealing with mussels, make sure that when you're examining them, that they're all closed like this before you put them in. If there are any that won't close, like, like this one here, I wouldn't, actually it's closed, so that's fine. Any of them that aren't closed, throw them out because they are no good. So I'm gonna put them in with their juice. Just like that. This one's no good. Ba, 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 ba. This one's no good. All right, so very important. So my muscles are in here. They are, that's the first phase. The second phase in terms of flavoring is I'm just gonna take a couple of green onions and real quick, just slice them. This is more of a background hum. You don't wanna put in onions like the white or uh, red onions. They're gonna be too intense for this. So just add these in there. I'm gonna add a little bit of dill. We'll go in here. You don't need much. That's just gonna, perfect, just like that. I'm gonna do a little bit of salt. I'm gonna take a little garlic, maybe three cloves, four cloves. Here's the thing. I am not gonna peel my garlic. I'm gonna leave it with the skin on and that is totally cool. This in the end will steam and they'll sweeten up and they're gonna be super, super delicious. And the kicker to this, this is all the money. You're gonna do anywhere from a quarter cup to a cup of ouzo. or so. Well, just add it in there, it's fine. Now, this right now is gonna come up to a boil with the heat. It's gonna take literally anywhere from about three to five or six minutes. Your muscles will open up completely and you'll be ready to go. All right, so it's been literally not even five minutes and this is, my whole kitchen in here smells fantastic it's absolutely gorgeous now oh oh boy you've got mm, throwing a forks knives shells mm, so good so so good my friends absolutely wonderful and this broth in here don't throw it away. It is fantastic. So let me show you what I'm going to do. You want to funk it up a little bit. You want to present this kind of make it out. Oh, that's hot. Wow. So I'm going to take this nice and easy. Pour these in there just like that. The garlic is softened up, by the way, as well. And you're going to need for this now a bunch of bread and a bunch of friends. And just like that there. Perfect. I'll leave this here. Oh, oh, look at this. This one tried to get away. Mm. And just from a height, just sprinkle it down just like that. And my friends, this is ready to go. A meal fit for a king. So that's it for this short and sweet video or recipe on how to do my Mussels El Greco. I think that's what I want to call this recipe. And it's super easy. It's crazy good. And it'll feed a crowd. And thank you so much for watching. For this recipe and more, check me out online as well at kensgreektable.com. 
Please take care of yourselves and each other. And until next time, I will definitely see you on the next one. Much love. Bye for now.